Hey everybody, it's Eric from the Mature Minded Gamers Group. We are going to show you how to set up an Astro Nears dedicated server on Steam CMD. This is going to be for Windows. You cannot host a server and play on the same machine. This so everybody knows ahead of time, that's the number one question I get. That will not work. So if you're trying to do that, I'm sorry. This is not going to help you at all. First thing you need is Steam CMD. If you don't already have it, you can just open a browser and go to uh, Google. Just type in Steam CMD. The top top link right here is what you want. You want to click on the Windows version, so what we're going to use today, and then this download button right here, and hit the Save File As. You'll get it. You want to extract it. Drop that file, which will be called Steam CMD, wherever you want your folder to be. I put mine directly onto my storage drive. Um, and I have a shortcut here on my desktop where if I go to it, you'll see it's on my C drive, Steam CMD. So just make a folder, drop that file in there. It'll look just like this. It'll be the only file in your folder. That's normal. You want to run it. It's going to download a bunch of files and populate this folder for you. And then when it's done, you are going to download the game. But I have actually made this a lot simpler for everybody. If you don't want to manually type everything out, I'm going to show you how to do it manually first. You want to do login space anonymous hit enter that's going to log you in then you want to type in app underscore update space uh, the number for this is seven two eight four seven zero and then you're going to want to hit enter and you'll see it's already updated because i've already downloaded it but if this is your first time this is going to download a bunch of files for you i think it was two gigabytes roughly uh, and then once it's done, you'll get to a prompt like this. You can just type exit. This is also how you update the server when there's a new server update. What I've done, though, is I've made some uh, .bat files that will do all this for you. I'm going to put these up on my website. So if you go to our website, I'll put a link in the description. MatureMindedGamers.com This is our main, our main website. You want to go to server files right here. And then you'll see Astro News is the very top one. I do ask if you use my files here on our website that you please have me followed on YouTube and or Twitch. Both is preferable. It uh, supports us and keeps us going and making all these files. And I host these files up on my own personal Dropbox, so I'm using my own bandwidth. So if you do use those, please make sure you've already hit that follow button. Um, and then consider checking out our Twitch channel as well. We do all of our streaming there. But you just want to click on this. It's going to take you to our Dropbox account. Just hit the close if you, if you don't have an account. You don't have to log in here. So just hit 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 the X, and then you'll see here's the files. There's two of them. They're in a uh, .zip. Come up here and hit this little download button right here. Hit save or direct download, and that's going to save them as a zip file right here. It's called Astroneers Updater .zip. Hit save file as, and then go back to your desktop here. And this is what it's going to look like. You're going to want to extract those. And the two files are right here. And the first one you want to do, you want to go back to wherever you put your steamcmd.exe, the original file we downloaded. You want to drop the actual Astroneers updater into that folder. So I've already done this. We're going to hit replace. And then it's going to be in the folder right here. If it's not in that folder and when you run it, it won't work. Because I don't, it just, it, ha it pulls that exact exe. It doesn't find it in the directories. When you run the Astroneers updater.bat, it does all those commands that we did for you earlier. It logs in anonymously, it types in the app ID, and then it'll pull down an update. And it, it also scans your files to see if anything's corrupted. Uh, you can use this to update the game when they release a new patch. I'm going to show everybody what it looks like in case you don't want to download my file and you just want to type it out yourself. steamcmd.exe, then the login anonymous, then the app ID number, the validate, and the quit. That's exactly what you have to put in yours. Pretty simple. All right, the other one is it starts your server, but it also does something else kind of cool. It will bring up a prompt where you can see that the server's still running, and you can also shut the server down from it so you don't have to go in the task manager to do it. That's the Astro server start .bat I made. You want to copy it or cut it, whatever you prefer. You want to go and do your Steam apps here. Common, Astro News dedicated server. And then you want to actually drop it right here in this folder. And see, I have a, a early version, and this will call this Astro Server.exe. So this has to be in this folder right here. And then when you run it, what it does, it actually brings up the Astro Astro Nears box right here. 
that shows that the server is running, which is super helpful. Um, and then to close it, you can actually click on the block, the box and hit control C and it will actually shut everything down for you. Otherwise, if you do it the old school way and just run the .exe, nothing pops up. You have to actually go to your task manager and see that it's running right here. It is. And then this is also how you'd have to close the server down. You do want to make sure you save your server before you shut it down because if it's not saved, you're going to lose any progress you made. You can do that from the console or I think the defaults like every 900 seconds it saves or something like that. Um, so there's that. And now to customize your server, you want to go into your Astro folder. You want to go into your save folder. You will have to have ran the exe I think at least once to make the save folder. If it's not there, you need to execute first and let it run and generate some stuff and then close the server. Then come in here. And you want to go to your config, Windows Server, and then here's where you're going to edit all your configs. Astro Server Settings to INI is the first one you want to edit. Okay, so when you get this open, the first thing that I recommend is that you uh, update your max server frame rates to 60. The default is 30. Uh, it can be a little sluggish at 30, and most servers are going to be able to handle 60. If you do notice a performance issue, then lower it back down by all means. Uh, you want to enter your public IP address here. This has to be your external IP address. You can go to Google and just type in what's my IP from the server and then it will tell you what it is. You have to put that in there. Uh, name, put your server name right here in this field. Uh, you can put in an owner name. This is your Steam username, I believe. Um, you can put in a server password right here. And that, that's really all I can set. There's a few other settings, but that's all I would mess with. And then once you get it completely filled out the way you want, go to file, hit save. And then the other thing you want to go to is the engine.ini. You need to go here and put what port it's going to use. So put bracket URL bracket, and then underneath put port equals 8777. You have to forward that port on your router and firewall and also your Windows firewall. Um, there's videos out there that cover how to do that for pretty much every model. So just Google whatever your model you're using. I do have a video up on my channel for how to do it on Windows. Um, you have to have that done. If not, nobody's going to be able to see your server. And if you don't know how to do that, it's it can be complicated and hard. Watch watch a couple of videos and take your time. You should be able to figure it out. All right, now once you have that stuff all done, you need to hit File, Save here, and save it. And you're ready to go now. So when you go back, go back out to where we made that auto server .bat, or you download it from my website, and just execute it, and you're gonna see it pop up and run. And you should be good to go. You should be hosting your own Astro Near server. Uh, I do want to mention a couple things. This is not crossplay. You cannot play between Steam and Windows for some reason. But you can play with. You can can play and host your own dedicated ser server for all Steam users. So hopefully this video helped you. Please do me a favor. Hit that follow and like button, and have yourself a great day.